Hello everyone. Our job for today is troubleshooting Enterprise Networks 3. Here we got an addressing table. This activity uses a variety of technologies you have encountered during your CCNA studies, including routing, port security, Ether channel, DHCP, NAT, PPP, and frame relay. Your task is to review the requirements, isolate and resolve any issues, and then document the steps you took to verify the requirements. Requirement 1. DHCP R1 is the DHCP server for the R1 LAN. So let's view the DHCP configuration on R1. As you can see, the default gateway was set to the wrong IP address. It should be the IP address of G0 slash 0, Requirement 2. Switching Technologies. Power security is configured to only allow PC1 to access F0-3 interface of S1. All violations should disable the interface. As you can see, the port security configuration was applied to interface F0-4 instead of F0-3. So we applied the port security to interface F0-3. Link aggregation using Ether channel is configured on S2, S3, and S4. On S2, the Ether channel configuration is correct. Let's view the running configuration on S3.
the ether channel configuration is correct. As you can see, port G0 slash 1 was configured as an access port, however, port G0 slash 1 should be a trunk port, because it connects with router R3. As you can see, channel group 3 was applied to the two wrong interfaces, F0 slash 1, N, F0 slash 2. On the other hand, those interfaces should be grouped by Ether channel 2. Requirement 3. Routing. All routers are configured with OSPF process ID 1 and no routing updates should be sent across interfaces that do not have routers connected. On R1, OSPF 1 advertised the default route. That's wrong. So, remove the default information originate statement from OSPF1. On R3, passive interface set to be default. So R3 cannot advertise its network to the others. To fix it, we remove the passive interface default statement from OSPF1. Then, configure interface, G0 slash 1, as a passive interface. As you can see, R2 has a default route but it doesn't advertise the default route to the others. So, add the default information originate statement to OSPF1.
R2 is configured with a default route pointing to the ISP and redistributes the default route. NAT is configured on R2 and no untranslated addresses are permitted to cross the Internet. Requirement 4. WAN Technologies. The serial link between R1 and R2 uses frame relay. The serial link between R2 and R3 uses HDLC encapsulation. The serial link between R1 and R3 uses PPP with PAP. So, all the serial links use the correct encapsulation type. Requirement 5. Connectivity. Now, we ping TFTP server from PC1. The ping is successful. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.